Hello guys, welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Minecraft Alpha. Now, uh, yeah, this is the old uh, startup screen, and uh, yeah, this is Alpha 1.1.2, and uh, without any further ado, let's get started now. Back in the day, you only had five options to create a world, so you could only have five worlds maximum. Can't remember what update that was changed in, but... We're going to go ahead and create world number one. We don't even have the option to rename it at this point. It's just going to be called world one. But I'm perfectly fine with that. Hopefully we get something good. And uh, right off the bat, looks like we have an okay starting area. Nothing too spectacular. Let me just switch on, let's see, fancy graphics. We want that on hard mode. We want render distance far and everything else. Uh, sound, yeah, we're going to need to put that down. All right, we're all set. And I just double tap W to start sprinting. So it just goes to show you how unprepared for this I am. Now, this version of Minecraft is just so nostalgic for me in particular because this was the version that I started playing on. And um, this is actually a pirated copy because that's usually what I do when I see a game that I want to try out. If there's no demo for it at the time, what I'll usually do is download it from somewhere being very careful in the process and uh, if it's good enough I'll buy it if it's not so good then I just won't play it anymore but I don't like the idea of pirating for the sake of pirating but enough about that so your basic goal in this version of Minecraft is to get diamonds so that's the general uh, general consensus the the achievement I guess but I'm not having much luck with mountains Back in the day, you used to uh, used to have quite a bit of luck finding very cool terrain generation and stuff. But uh, for some reason, not a lot of mountains are in this area, which is a bit unfortunate. But um, survival is it's much more difficult in this version because... Um, oh yeah, and gravel beaches as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just at a loss for words right now because it's all flowing back to me and uh, you might see these saplings all around the place like over there and stuff and I've picked up a few already um, at this time I think there was a bug or something or other that made leaves decay if uh, the world generated or something like that just as the world started up the leaves started decaying so not sure why but uh, what, I, what I like about this current version of Minecraft is that I missed bunny hopping, which is this. So you can just hop up and down really quickly. You don't realize that that's such an important mechanic of the game until it's removed. Where um, you can still bunny hop, but it's got a specific limit. And um, I'm thinking treehouse. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I should go for a treehouse or... I, I don't know. That looks pretty sick, but... I'm going to see if I can find somewhere else. And uh, in this version of the game, there are no beds. So there's no way to set your spawn. If you die, uh, if I die, I will respawn way back over there. And uh, have a minimal chance to get my stuff back. That is uh, if I... Ooh, it's over here. That is if I wander too far away. So, But this over here looks promising, so I don't want to... Um, yeah, I don't want to neglect this area. And also, mobs in this version of the game are extremely buggy. And, oop, I hear a spider already. Well, I'm going to try and take him on. Oh, hang on, I know a problem. Controls. The old inventory key used to be I. Uh, don't know when it was changed to E, but at first I was like, no, why did they change it? And then all of a sudden I'm like, well, this is better. And I'll have to change my skin as well to uh, my regular Maddox skin, but I'll get to doing that later. That's not a real vital important thing and you can't shift click in this version so all the crafting and chest access and everything like that is uh, manual and boring so that's okay there, there aren't as many items in this version of the game to um, to collect I guess so I'm not, sh I'm not sure if I should go looking for that spider but uh, I think I'll leave it I'll leave that there I'll worry about him later uh, but the time being you, you actually have to be a lot more frugal in your daylight uh, consumption I suppose because there's not a lot you can do at night time there really isn't because it gets way too dark to actually be able to do anything uh, it's almost midday 
and I'm going to have to find coal, fairly certain. Fairly certain. Cow, is that what I meant to say? That's not what I meant to say, no. I meant to say fairly soon, because coal is the only way to get light in this version of Minecraft, and this doesn't look too bad for a, for a house. Um, what my main plan is to do, however, is um, survive. Literally, uh, that seems a bit redundant, but yeah, I just want to live. I don't want to die at all. Coal, yes, awesome. Alright, so, basic rules of Minecraft, you know what it is, you know, gather stone, get better stuff, etc. I'm not going to explain everything. Um, oh man, the old cobblestone texture, look at that. This is, that's the old cobblestone. Very controversial, a lot of people hated it, a lot of people liked it. I mean, I wasn't a fan of it, but seeing it again just makes me happy on the inside. Um, yeah, we're going to need a stone pick for this. But, um, yeah, my main goal is to not actually build a, build a house off the bat. But um, we got fallen chickens out of the sky. But my main plan is to actually build a small shelter, nothing too spectacular or impressive or anything like that. But uh, start off small and then go caving for a long time, hopefully. And uh, reach a level where I get heaps and heaps of um, gnarly resources and stuff. Like diamonds, perhaps, maybe, and some redstone. And then I'll worry about building a decent house. But for the time being, I think uh, I'm going to explore a little bit more. And then I'll actually get to building a shelter. Because, I mean, let's face it, I've been playing this game for like... Ooh, this is my... Well, I've been playing it for over a year now. So, I think I've got the basics down pat of how to build a house and everything. So, it's no great worry for me what time of the day I build my shelter, but um, I do have to be cautious to actually build one and not uh, forget about it. But um, yeah, mobs in this, are, they're a bit unpredictable. They're not necessarily hard, um, but for example, skeletons cannot aim for shit. So this looks cool. I like this area. Very nostalgic. Very, very nostalgic. I love it. Um, but yeah, skeletons are a bit unpredictable. Uh, how should I say this? Well, the other day, when, for those of you that saw that content ID video that I had, where I was raging my face off, yeah, um, that was, that was a kick in the dick to my videos, but that's okay, because during that day where I couldn't upload anything, I actually booted up this version of Minecraft and tried it out a little bit, and, uh, I kind of got carried away and had, like, a massive world with a cobblestone castle and everything, um, but yeah, that's, that's okay, so I have practiced a little bit for this, but nothing too spectacular. But, um, food works differently in this version, armor works differently in this version, um, skeletons, oh yeah, and in that, when I was in that world, just playing around, I actually assisted a skeleton to attack another skeleton, because they were already fighting, and, uh, because their AI isn't spectacular, he was stuck on a wall, so I kind of helped him a little bit, but, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to observe the area just around here, and I'll let you guys know if I find anything spectacular, or if I find a good place for a shelter. And uh, the sun has still got plenty of time, so we're good. We're good on time. Alrighty, guys, so I didn't have much luck with finding anything, although uh, it's been a couple of days since I recorded last, and this is where I left off. The moon is rising, the sun is setting, and uh, bad things are about to happen because we don't have a house. Now, um... You might have noticed that this episode is going to be a little bit longer than normal. Well, it's going to be twice as long. Um, right, I'm going to build a makeshift house. Makeshift house somewhere. Um, what's my volume at? Fuck. Keeps resetting every time. I don't know why. It's all good. That's better. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit longer. What I'm thinking is instead of having a video upload every couple of days, uh, for 30 minutes and everything like that. In order to stick to a new schedule, because uh, university started and it's just taking up all my fucking time, uh, I thought that what I would do was do an hour-long video for this series every weekend. Um, I know it's nowhere near as much content as normal, um, but, you know, at least it's something. So I'll try and stick to that as much as possible. If I get more done, then I get more done, but I, I highly doubt I will. And uh, we've got our first mob over there, a zombie. Now the first thing you'll notice about this is that it is extremely dark. 
and um, you might have noticed how the landscape was enveloped in darkness by chunks, how it would do a line and then, yeah, anyways, this darkness is a lot more brutal than current Minecraft, because current Minecraft, you can change the brightness. There's no option to do it here, anywhere. So, it's very, very dark, and this was a problem in older Let's Plays, when people would have to, um, you know, increase the brightness in post-production and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and take on this zombie over here, well, this wild pack of zombies. Um, now, like I said earlier on, mobs are very glitchy in this game, in this version of the game, so yeah. They've got this really creepy tendency as well. If they're below you, they won't look up at you, they'll keep their head down, which is really weird. Especially for uh, creepers, because they don't, they barely jump at all. Yeah, look at this, this is, like, I can't tell how far away he is. And you can't spam at all, this is the fastest you can spam with a sword. Um, even when there's a zombie in front of you, so you have to be really careful. And spiders are actually a threat in this version because they are much faster than you. And uh, the only way to actually take them on without dying straight off the bat is to get higher ground. So you have to actually, oh shit, be careful with what you do. Oh god, oh god, no, no, I fell in a hole. Shit, shit, shit. But yeah, the reason I'm killing these spiders is because I want string. Wow, son of a bitch, he took like 10, 10 hours to kill. Now, prior to 1.8, uh, so in Minecraft 1.7 and stuff like that, the only way to get your health back was to eat bacon and, well, pork chops. Uh, notice there's no tooltips when I ho hover over an item. Um, yeah, that was added in beta, I think, the very first version of beta. So we've got a skeleton up there. They don't pose as much of a threat as they do now because they've got a ridiculous aiming regime. Creepers are extremely deadly because they blend in with the bright grass. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build a house. I did not even think of that, but it's just nothing spectacular, just just current. Because um, I don't want to die today. And uh, my main goal is to build an amazing house in Alpha. And clearly I'm failing at this goal currently, but um, yeah, this is this is definitely not what I'm trying to do. Okay, so we're just going to block that up for now. So what we can do is we can see outside, and things cannot track us. I don't even think spiders can track us on the other side. I, I could be wrong on that. But as far as I can remember, I don't. I can't say I remember spiders tracking me through walls. Uh, so luckily we got enough coal on the first day to make enough torches to light up our house here. And beautiful bright green gla glass, wow. But yeah, the, the, you'll notice the torches... Um, don't light up anywhere near as much room as they do in uh, current Minecraft. Just light this area up a little bit. But yeah, it, 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 it goes the same distance and the light level hasn't been changed and that is a lot of mobs up there. Holy shit. I need to find an isolated spider because if you have a bow in this version, you are unstoppable. Even with the old mechanics and, you know, five arrows per kill and everything like that, the, um... The bow just makes it so easy to kill mobs because you don't have to, like, spam like this. You can... See, in current Minecraft, you can hit like this, but in this one, you can only do a max of that. But um, once you get a bow, it just becomes so easy. And you'll notice the coal is left in my crafting box. I don't remember what update it was, but uh, there was actually a point where you could leave the coal and things in there. So what I would used to do if I was in a cave... I would have sticks and coal like this, and then walk along and everything like that. And whenever I ran out of torches, I'd just do that. And uh, it was very helpful, but one day I tried it, and it just came out of my inventory, and I was very sad. But, uh, yeah, no great loss. So a creeper is right over there. There is a lot of mobs up there, like, holy shit. Um, I'm going to try and take on a creeper, just to show you guys what it's like. Okay, um... Chances are I'm not going to come out of this alive, which is a shame. Five and a half hearts here. They still drop gunpowder. Uh, every mob still drops everything it usually does in current Minecraft. Of course, the exception being um, spiders and spider eyes. Spider eyes don't exist yet. Uh, skeletons and bone meal. Bone meal doesn't exist yet. Oh, well, they drop bones, but bones don't exist yet. Um... Uh, zombies don't drop zombie flesh because that didn't exist yet. They drop feathers. And uh, it was always like a great mystery as to how zombies 
had feathers at all. I mean, unless they were flying zombies, which they clearly are not. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, they used to drop feathers, which was actually very, very convenient because um, it was a very common way to get more arrows. But now you can only get it from chickens. And um, chickens are a lot more rare because they don't respawn if you kill them. And you have to kill them to get feathers. So, you have to do a lot of breeding and uh, it's just fucking mess. It's ridiculous. I want the old mob spawning back, as you just saw over there. Two cows, at least I think two. Oh, sheep just spawned right there. Um, see, feather. Yeah, in these versions of Minecraft, uh, mobs, passive mobs such as this, such as this chicken right here. Let's kill him. Oh god, hitbox is just as bad as it's always been. But uh, sheep, cows, pigs, and chickens will spawn grass and light. Doesn't matter if it's daylight or torchlight. Um, it's more reliable if it's torchlight at night because it has nowhere else to spawn in the in the world. So um, there's no use to oh right, you used to punch sheep for their wool like this, so you could just get a varying amount of wool just by punching it. And we've got a pig, which is good. We need this pig. How many did he drop? I think he dropped two. Yes, he dropped two. Uh, food does not stack in this version. I'm, tr I'm just trying to go through everything I know uh, as I come across it. We don't want naked sheep everywhere, so let's just uh, end there and their lives. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to go for that pig over there because he's kind of surrounded by a mob of mobs. <laughs> so I'm just going to get inside my little house. There we go. And I don't know what time of day it is. I can see the moon here, right. So we've got a little bit more left of night time. It wasn't too bad for our first night. Uh, we need a furnace though. Uh, good old furnace. Still works exactly the same as far as I'm concerned. Um, I'm going to need to make a what am I doing? Wow. Wow. Oh god. Let's just make some sticks. Two in there. This in there. And we're good. So it still heals the same. And you'll notice that actually um, the pigs... I think they changed the texture of the uh, pork chops. The pork chops used to be brown, like this. And uh, now they've been changed to like a yellowy color. Oh, sunrise. Look at this. Old version of the sunrise. And uh, you'll notice there's no orange sky. That was added in the next update, I think, in the Halloween update. I could be wrong on that, but it's the coloured sky was in this game as long as I can remember. And I was just, like, blown away when they did it. Um, so now we'll shortly see the creatures burning uh, in the universe. And all will be well. We need this pig. That's alright, though. See, you don't feel as bad killing these animals, because these animals will just respawn and they'll be as cute as ever, but in the new versions, you kind of can't attack them. How's this guy hostile? You know what, Creeper? Get up, son. Oh, shit. That... See, it's just so awkward to fight. Oh, God. Retarded skill. Let... Look at his aim. Hang on. Look at it. What was that? And the arrows are much slower as well. And I'm running in line with this guy as well, so... It's ridiculous. Oh. See, he doesn't drop bones. Um, he only drops arrows. Which is good, because... Um, yeah. There's... I mean, there's already a lot of ways to get arrows in this version of the game. Um, but, you know, it's not... It's not like a massive uh, task to get a hold of arrows anymore. And I think I saw some spiders over in this direction just before, and that... Did that... Oh no, he just went out outside of the thing. Actually, um, a little bit of trivia for you guys about the chicken. I was making my custom map the other day. Yeah, I'm still working on it. Um, not at the moment, I'm having a break of it, which is why I'm in the alpha version. But chickens actually... I've got this area in there where it's got a series of different types of non-hostile mobs. So sheep, cows, pigs, and chickens. And um, I was flying around editing the walls and stuff... And the pigs, the sheep, the cows were all in the visibility. So I could see the sheep and the pig all the way out there. But at the same distance, even though the chickens were slightly closer... Let me try and get far enough away. See? It wouldn't render him. So I don't know why chickens aren't rendered that far away. But that's the same even in Minecraft 1.8, I think. No. What's it up to now? 1.2. I think 1.2 came out yesterday. Um, but I was editing my map in 1.1 and I discovered that and I'm like, wow, that's 
that that's kind of weird. And um, but yeah, apparently it's always been in Minecraft, as I just witnessed. So that's a nice little bit of trivia for you. Totally useless. Uh, looks like the spiders despawned, which is kind of a shame. But uh, yeah, we have to collect pork as we go. We can't just ignore da pigs, as we do in the uh, more recent versions. And I did a little bit of uh, Minecraft alphaing yesterday, and it was on a separate world, and it was in a permanent snow world. I'll show you guys that if if you want to have a look at it later on in the series. But it's where um, you start up a world, and it's got like a 50/50 chance of choosing a world like this, where it's just plain everywhere, um, or it could be covered in snow and just snowing constantly. So. Yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. It's pretty cool, you know. It's not too bad. And furnaces and workbenches take for fucking ever to destroy because I think that's always been like that, except in the most recent update. Uh, what was I doing? Shovel, right? And I think I already mentioned this, but there's no shift click or anything, so I just ha I can't emphasize that enough. No shift click. Like that has got to be the worst um, handicap in this version ever. Just it's gross. So I don't think I'm going to leave my torches here. I think I'm going to pack up and leave. Um, I'm not going to be like a nomad in this adventure, so I'm not going to be wandering around all the time. It's just that I needed a shelter at night because obviously there were way too many creatures and um, just just way too many to take on solo. So what herbs, but uh, just recollect all these torches and then I'll head off in a direction. Now I think I came from that direction. Well, this I came from this side. I'm fairly certain. Um, but yeah, I think I might leave a torch or two just to signify that I was here. Medics was here, duh. But yeah, it's all good. So need more of this. And uh, the good thing about this version of Minecraft and arrows is that uh, flint is the most difficult thing to come by, as opposed to feathers because feathers are everywhere it's for some weird reason. But uh, sticks are easy to get, and feathers are easy to get. So I think I might leave this torch here, yeah. But, uh, I mean, everything else for arrows is pretty straightforward, and we only got one string as well, so... It kind of sucks, but... It doesn't suck but, but it sucks. But, anyways... I think we're going to explore a little bit further this way and see if we can find any cool mountain areas. The good thing about doing this is that uh, it motivates me not to die, because if I do die then I'll respawn way too far away and uh, it won't be very good. Look, it's an old version of swamps. It's technically not a swamp, but it looks like one. It's just the way that the terrain is generated to make it look like a swamp. But swamps aren't actually in the game yet, so... But look at that, that's awesome. I could build a house there maybe, eventually. I don't know. We have to make this world our own. We can't just abandon it. We can't build one house and then get over it, you know. We have to turn it into the utopia we imagined just like the last world except uh, on a much older scale and hopefully I won't get as much endless ocean as I did in my most recent let's play it doesn't look like there's anything for days it, it just looks like it's planes Ooh, as I say that I run into nothing as is to be expected this wait this is kind of like a hey look it's a Herobrine tunnel ha 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 uh, seriously, that is kind of freaky. Is, is there nothing? Is there nothing to do? I suppose I could go check out the swamp area. I don't know. I want I want mountains, man. I want mountains. And I've actually seen some pretty impressive mountains in this version of Minecraft. And, um, yeah, no lie. They're pretty sick. Pretty sick. And I'm still remembering... I've got, like, a, uh, a, a way to build my first house. Well, I know I've already lived in my first house on my first night in this world already, but technically that wasn't a house. It was just a quick fucking refrigerator box type thing. But um, I want input from you guys. Usually I'm not the kind of person to just be like, yo, comment what you think. Dirty, 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 do. But um, I've kind of got a bit of input related uh, subjects to go by. Ooh, our first cave. We've probably come across a cave before, but I don't remember it. It was a couple of days ago. Give me a break. Um, there's coal in there, right, that could be of use. I think we're going to camp here for tonight. Uh, yeah, it's past midday, so, whoa! That was really lucky. Um, 
yeah, input from you guys. I am going to be building a house in this world, eventually, of course. Now, I've got pretty much three options, right? Um, oh yeah, this is a this is the real deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to block this part up, I think. And I might need to get some more wood before I go ahead and do this plan. And there's... See, I have tons of sapling, but I don't have any trees. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to input. I keep getting distracted. Um, I've got three ideas for a house. A legitimate 100% uh, attendance house, kind of. A home. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, and it is... The first of which is a design based off my very first house ever that I ever built in Minecraft. Now, I'd be going off memory, and it's not very good, but it was kind of like a dirt structure, and because that's the only block I knew how to collect. Mind you, I did it with a stick, because I thought a stick was a faster resource, ga resource gatherer than your fist, but apparently that's not the case. Um, but also, uh, it, w it was like a zigzaggy type of structure and it went up into the sky and uh, it was made of dirt and torches it had a furnace in there had some glass windows um, the top of it top half was made of wood when I figured out how to process it and collect it and everything like that and um, it wasn't very practical mind you because none of the mobs and I built it on peaceful as well obviously because everyone's a pussy on their first night of Minecraft but um, it was the world I had my first creeper encounter when I switched to hard mode just to see what it was like. And uh, there was this green blob thing down the bottom of my house. I'm like, what the hell is that? Go down, check it out, and it explodes in my face. I'm like, what the fuck, man? That's stupid. But, um, wow, I keep getting distracted. Anyway, um, yeah, dirt house, massive, goes up into the sky. Not very attractive, but, yeah, it's, it's nostalgic for me. Um... And also, it had a diving board at the top, which, when I finished my house, I was like, well, I guess there's nothing else to do in Minecraft now. So I built a diving board, jumped off it, and died. And then I respawned, like, way away. And I didn't know where I was, right? So I thought what happens is, if you die in this game, you lose all the progress you've done in the world, and the world resets or something. So all the blocks you've placed and everything is deleted. But, if, but of course, that's not the case. I just respawned really far away because that's where my spawn point was. Um, but anyways, the second choice is, uh, my, ooh, I'd have to say, fourth or so world. And it was the first house that I built that was legitimately practical. And what I mean by practical is, it was a decent defense against mobs. It had, um, a nice look. It was small, compact. It was two-story. It was very, very compact. Like, when I say compact, I just realized, I mean very, very compact. Um, not much room to move around. Enough for a workbench and a chest and stuff like that. But maybe I'll do that as a shelter just to show you guys what it means. That would be built on memory as well, because I remember that a little bit better than I do my uh, first ever house. And I know I shouldn't be caving during the day, because daylight in this version is so precious. But um, we found iron, so your argument is invalid. But caves in this version are so much scarier because they're just so dark and you can't see into the darkness. It's ridiculous. Uh oh. Vertical caves are a big no-no in this version. Um, but yeah, so that's the second choice where... Um, oh, and this is what I meant when I started my LP and I'm like, Dude, there's no iron anywhere in Alpha. Like, uh, you, you go down in a cave and there's like none anywhere. But, um, does this go up? I don't think so. No, it stops there. Anyway, enough to getting distracted. Um, let's put dirt there. Yeah, that's good. So, um, yeah, small practical house. It works. It does what it's meant to do. Although it's not like a permanent staying house. So that's the one setback for it. It's not big. It's not impressive or anything like that. That's what she said. Um, however, and lava, our first lava. So it's still exactly the same in this version as it's always been. Um... I think we got more iron up there. Lava is deadly in this. It's a very good tool. I don't think it's changed that much. Wow, we got a lot of iron around here. I've got to be careful. Uh, so yeah, practical, small house, yada yada yada, whatever the fuck. So, that brings us to our third and final house design. This is... 
Um, an entirely new design that I've been coming up with. I've drawn drawn it a little bit on paper, and uh, when I was bored, I'm just like, yep, yeah, block paper, all good. And uh, it has it's like a sort of a cobblestone castle temple type thing, but it's not like an over impressive giant fucking building of awesome or anything like that. It's it's like a it's got lava pillars out the front and it sort of flows down and out the front door and stuff and I'm thinking that's what I'm going to go with but um, yeah so I'm just trying to think of what I'm doing here pickaxe right do I have a workbench yes always have a workbench on you it is the most valuable thing you will ever have ever and uh, you might have noticed then when my stone pickaxe broke it's um, it broke without actually getting to the end of its durability in this version of Minecraft, um, pickaxes, axes, swords, shovels, hoes, anything degradable actually gets to... That sword is nearly out. It, it can only take a few more hits. Um, but the... Uh, let's see, what am I trying to say here? The durability of that sword only has one bar left. Whereas in new Minecraft, it's got quite a bit of durability left. Um... As soon as the durability hits the grey zone or the brown zone, so it runs out of colour, uh, that means your sword or tool only has one use left, which is actually a very good system because I was used to that and I figured out that that's how it works and everything like that. And I got used to it and all that kind of crap and then they went ahead and changed it. So, fix your game, Notch. But yeah. So, it was all, um, it was all simpler back then this time. Oop, there we go. We're going to have an iron armor set for days, although armor in this version isn't very good. It's okay. It's okay. Um, but it's not It's not worth making unless you have a lot of the resource, because it's not the main thing to build. But we're going to need an iron pickaxe and maybe a bucket as well. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe temple out of cobblestone and smooth stone. There's no stone bricks, there's no sandstone, there's no... Um, well, there's no a lot of things, really. There's no enchantment tables or anything like that. Oh, and uh, there's a lot of old tool... Not tools. Uh, tips. Tool tips, I guess. Uh, pro tips and everything like that for this version. And uh, old Minecraft in general. You know, the typical rules. Don't dig straight down. Um, if you find dirt, dig it all out entirely. You might not have heard this one. But um, if you find dirt in a cave, dig it out entirely because it usually hides minerals. Um... I'm not actually sure if that's true or not. I don't think it is because, um, I mean, think about it. The dirt could be stone and there's no real way. Like if there was a big cluster of dirt in a cave and you dug it all out and there was diamonds behind it, it's like, what are the chances of that being true? You know, it could have just been stone behind it. Or uh, if the dirt was made of stone, it could have just been, y you know, it... It's kind of weird, like dirt right here, if I dug this out, there'd probably be like iron or something behind it. That's what people are saying, but I honestly don't know. And uh, another thing with this version, the um, click mining is a little bit slower, because um, there's kind of a delay if you miss a block, if you don't click at the right time. It's not too bad, but, you know, whatever. And also when I start up my house, well before I start up my house really, I want to get diamond tools, so I want to find a decent place to build it, and I want it to be built with the best of the best, basically. So I wasn't looking at my pickaxe just then, but it happened again, where the durability reached gray zone, and then, oh no, it was the shovel, that's right. Don't know why I made pickaxes. It's all good though. Um, yeah, where it reached the gray zone and then it disappeared. Rather than actually getting through the grey zone, it just kind of touches it and then it disappears. So it's the same with gravel as well. If you dig through it, then you might find something. But look, dug out all that dirt, nothing here. Nothing at all except gravel, but we, I think we can reach out from... Yeah, we can reach out from there. So, nothing spectacular. Don't believe it when people say it, because they're clearly lying, and they don't know what the fuck they're talking about, but that's okay, because uh, we don't have any idea either. I think we're going to descend into here, because I'm fairly certain it's night time. And, um, clocks aren't in the game yet. 
but oh my god, they are so helpful in the next update. That's right, they came in the next update. Because Alpha 1.1.2, which is the one I'm in right now, as you can see. Uh, this is actually, I need more torches. This is the update where compasses were added to the game. Or is it Kumpai? I, I think it's compasses. Um, yeah, they were added to the game, and that made it very, very easy to navigate the land. Because it was very simple to get lost, and there's nothing here, really. Shit. <laughs> but um, clocks were added in the next version. Uh, the handheld clock with the, um, the 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 gold and the redstone, and um, something else was added to that version as well. I don't remember what it was though. Um, but yeah, clocks were added to the game there, and they were so helpful when you're in a cave because you could just look at it, and it will tell you. Um, and then it it can tell you if it's safe to go outside or anything like that if it's night time. But as soon as beds were added to the game in beta 1.3, I always say beta 1.3, but I can't be sure. I think it was, because I remember beta 1.3 was the version where zombies could hug you without actually hurting you. Like, they would get up in your face and everything, and um, it wouldn't actually hurt. Uh, but yeah, as soon as beds were added to the game, it made clocks pretty much useless because you didn't even have to worry about the night time anymore, so... No big deal. Uh, however... You might notice every now and then that my spacebar doesn't make any noise when I jump, or it makes less noise or something like that. Uh, yeah, recently it's decided to get stuck every now and then. This is the outside world, so it's definitely night time. And I hear a spider, possibly above me on the surface. Um, but yeah, my spacebar likes to get stuck out of nowhere all of a sudden, which is kind of annoying. Um, it doesn't get stuck pressed in but it gets stuck uh, sort of like half pressed in so I only have to tap it to jump which is kind of annoying but uh, I still remember on my first day slash night of Minecraft and uh, this was prior to tooltips so before the words that come up when you hover over an item um, back in alpha and everything like that and oh that's right it was in this version that I'm playing on Durr. but um, I remember I, I I think I ooh. Ooh, more cave. I think I was running along somewhere and then I punched a block like this, gravel, and I was just running along and I was like, what is this? And Because uh, it was a different color to the stone, that's right. And uh, I punched it and I got a bit of flint. And I didn't know what it was. I thought it might have been used for spears or, you know, an arrow or something like that. Uh, not an arrow, because I didn't know arrows were in the game yet. But, um... Yeah, and I, I didn't know about the wiki yet, so I didn't know about crafting. And I thought it was like a, a handheld tool to get gravel and dirt faster. And I think what it, what it was back then was a total placebo effect. Whereas you... Oh, it's daytime. Perfect timing. And this is where we entered as well. Perfect timing. Got to be careful of shit dropping out of our heads, though. Um, but yeah, placebo effect. Where if you think about it, then it's true. <laughs> That's a terrible rendition of the effect, but... Um, when I thought that I was digging dirt faster with an axe, then that meant that it was just playing on my mind and I thought it was true, but obviously it wasn't. Um, axe, of course, being figurative, I know it was a stick. Oh god, so glitchy. But, um, you might have noticed the spiders are non-hostile. That's always been in the game, I think, ever since they were added. Oh god. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hang on. I should be safe here. Should be safe. Give me a second, spider. Give me a second. Oh, I think he's non-hostile anyway. So I'm going to make another sword. Do I have sticks in my... No, I don't. That's the one problem with leaving sticks in your handheld inventory. Is that you can't actually get it out when you are doing things in a crafting bench. But anyways. Now we get to punch this thing for ten minutes. Yay! Still good. So did he give up on me? Yeah, he gave up on me. But I didn't give up on him. I believe in you. Oh, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? It was like breakdancing on me. Damn. He like kicked me in the head. He did a 360 and walked away. All right, so I think it's time to pack up and leave. We got 21 iron out of that. That is boss. Holy shit. But I really want to set up a base somewhere. There's some chickens. Really? Chickens laid, egg laid eggs in this version? Huh. That's honestly something I did not remember. 
You can't do anything with eggs, though. You can't throw them, you can't... Well, you can kill things with it, but... You can't throw it, you can't spawn anything, you can't make cake. Cake's not in the game yet. Um, I think you could... <laughs> that was the main update when Minecraft Beta came out for the first time. The, um, the one main update was that you could throw eggs. And that was, like, the major change that had been added aside from the tooltips. But uh, eggs are fairly useless, so I'm just going to leave that there. But we got sheep for days, we got uh, lots of planes. A lot of old Minecraft is comprised of uh, flat planes and stuff. And you'll notice over here, I just saw this then, this is a perfect circle in the terrain generation. At least it looks like one from this distance. It definitely looks like one. Um, I noticed perfect circles in cave generation recently. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have too. Um, where you walk into a room and then it's like a perfect overly sphere type thing. And, um, and yeah, then I came across this in a different world in this version of Minecraft and it's the same. So they've always had like perfect circles and stuff to uh, create ditches and everything like that. Is that another cave that we want to explore? I think it is. What I should do before I get too ahead of myself is set up a small shelter with a chest and everything like that. Um, but you know what, I'm dumb, so I'm not going to do that. And my frame rate just boosted up to 60 then, it went really smooth. It still is, it's still really smooth at the moment. Probably because there's all this water and it hasn't rendered any landscape. Uh, as for reeds, reeds are fairly useless. They, I think they can be used to make paper. But, I mean, once you make books, there's no use for them. As far as I'm concerned, uh, no, there's not. So, no use getting reeds. I mean, you can, but there's, there's no use. Gravel beaches, once again, an easy way to get flint. And, uh, looks like we got gypped out of a mountainous area, I think. Minecraft was like, oh, what's that? You want a mountainous area? Well, how about fuck you? And then they didn't give it, just didn't give us one, so. Needless to say, I'm very angry. However, good thing about this is that instant eating, and we are going to come across many, many more pigs on our endeavours, so there is no need to be frugal in our food consumption. And, uh, yeah, so I think there's no deserts in this version, and uh, I remember it took so long for me to find a desert when they were added to the game in the next update after this one. Um, I was like, oh, what does a desert look like? I wonder if it looks like, you know, a bunch of land, but made of sand. And then I went looking for one, and honestly couldn't find one, I didn't know what they looked like. And uh, one day I was walking along and there was just a big deposit of sand. I'm like, lol, what the hell? And I was mining it all out and then I'm like, wait. Holy dicks. This is awesome. But, um, yeah, also, I was going to say something. That little area right there reminded me of a story. <laughs> Everything just reminds me of something different. It's awesome playing this version of Minecraft. So, so many memories come back to you. Um, we're going to get some leather while I talk about it. My first ever record from a creeper was actually in this version. Um, not too long ago, last year sometime actually. And uh, I was doing a nostalgia run, so I booted up this version of Minecraft and started playing. And um, we can make pants, so let's make pants. And yeah, getting chased by both a skeleton and a creeper. And he shot him and I got cat. But I didn't have any diamonds, so I couldn't make a jukebox, so I couldn't play. Still have to change my skin. I'll get around to it eventually. Maybe. Probably not. But oh well. It's no big deal. But, uh... I think the quality is gonna a little... Gonna... <laughs> I'm so dyslexic! Uh, I think the quality is gonna be a little bit better in this series because I'm actually recording with Fraps in full screen mode, I think. So, it's all good. This is just a nice little cubby hole, well hid from the elements for this tree. And I think a major component of Minecraft back in this day was... Ugh, it wasn't burps, I'll tell you that much. It was, uh, imagination. For those of you that remember playing with Lego as a little kid, uh, if you did, mind you. And I think we have mountains. Oh, yes, yeah, son. We've come to the land of awesome. But, uh, yeah, for those of you who remember playing with Lego, how you would be like, yeah, the evil... Dr. Octagonopus. I honestly can't come up with a good villainous name. But uh, that scared the shit out of me. I thought that was an Enderman. I'm like, 
What are you doing in this version, Enderman? You do not belong here. Go back to the land of the end. And then I would have probably dug a hole three deep, put a block on top, and then cried myself to sleep. However, this is a nice area. Like, I, th I could hang here. I could hang here. Um, what was I saying? Story? <laughs> I totally lost track of what I was saying. Well, fuck me, I'm gonna start building a house. Um, I think maybe around this waterfall. That'd be nice. Huh. So much to work with. But the sun is setting, so I gotta make decisions quick. I think this is actually a lighting glitch as well, so... Might wanna fix that to stop mobs from spo- Oh, hang on. This goes deeper than first meets the eye. Oh, no, it doesn't. It just goes right there. Right. Um, totally trying to think of what I was saying. Honestly, don't remember. It's aggravating because you guys are going to know exactly what I was talking about. And you're just going to be like, Duh, you're talking about this. I'm not, in, I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm just saying that, you know, you're calling me stupid. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get a vantage point at the top of this mountain here. See where we are. Oh, fuck. Uh, wow, okay, we've reached the point where mountains are generating awesomely. So what, we'll, we'll check what we've got here, and then we might... Oh, we got another one over there! Fuck it, yeah, bruh! That's gonna be awesome! It's, oh, I'm so pumped to build a house now. I'm so pumped. This is bringing back good memories. This is fun. This is the Minecraft I will always love and remember. And if you guys want to share the experience, so help me God, I would love to put a link to this version of Minecraft, but unfortunately I'm not allowed to do that. Um, you know, copyright reasons and piracy and all that sort of shit. However, there are ways to downgrade your Minecraft to an earlier version. And I think it's just me that's going to enjoy it more, because I remember so many things from this that is just so nostalgic, and that's what brings back so many good memories, uh, rather than... Uh, my viewers that would watch this and then be like, what's so appealing about this version of Minecraft? I guarantee that's going to be, you know, oh my god, that's sick. Um, you're probably going to be thinking, what the hell is the appeal of this? It's just a bunch of bright green grass and a couple of mountains here and there. This is what was classed as a just an amazing mountain back in the day. If I found this on my first ever world, oh, the possibilities to build a good house because you have so much more to work with in terms of imagination. In the new Minecraft, everything's done for you. You know, you've got the beds, you can skip the night time, so you have as, as much time as you want to plan out a house or something like that. Um, you can travel for days without having to stop anywhere. You, it's too easy, in my opinion. But when challenge is brought back into it, especially with night time, that looks fucking sick. Um, especially with night time and having to stop and think about where you are, it... It just brings a whole new level of imagination to it. You have to think of where you want to build your house. And this valley looks awesome. And quite frankly, I don't think I could find a better place in this entire world. And remember, I'm a long way from my spawn point. I am a long way from home. So, I thought that was another Enderman. I'm, I'm so paranoid about Enderman. God damn. Just so many friggin' Enderman troubles in my new world. And you know what? I just realized I was recording something different yesterday. And I wasn't recording with audio, so I hope to God I turned on audio before I started recording Fraps. If you can hear me, then you'll know. But if this video doesn't exist, then you'll never know. Wow, fucking paradox, man. But this looks incredible. This, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better place. I honestly couldn't. I'm going to put a torch here. We've con conquered this mountain, this valley, everything like that. Oh, man. Yeah, this, this reminds me of my earlier houses where there was just valleys in between big hills. And, uh, yeah. See, so you'll notice with the darkness, it goes chunk by chunk. Um, on my old computer, when I had this version of Minecraft, it took a long time to switch to nighttime because it just didn't have the processing power to do it right off the bat. We've got a bunch of caves everywhere as well. Yep. Yeah. This is the place I want to be. Do I have enough string? Oh, I do. I didn't even notice. But um, I can make a bow. Now, the thing about mountains, what makes them so appealing in this version, is because, as I've mentioned, with spiders specifically, higher ground is always better. And when you have a mountain and you light up said mountain, it makes it very, very difficult for the mobs to actually get to you, including skeletons, because remember, 
Skeletons have the aim of a... I, I, I don't know what's a bad aim. Jellyfish trying to sharpshoot with its ink, basically. Um, wait, jellyfish don't ink. Enough biology. Bow making time. Uh, workbench. Always have a workbench on you. Can't stress that enough. So we want sticks, which I probably already have, but I can't be fucked looking for them. We'll make ourselves a bow. We've got six arrows. Bam. And bows in this don't have any durability. Uh, pretty sure that was evident from Minecraft Beta 1.7. Um, let's see. I want to test it out. It takes five arrows to kill a mob, and we've got six. And we can make more. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that, actually. I'll set up a base later on, but I want to find something to kill. There's a skeleton over there. Um, don't think I'm going to go for the skeleton, because the skeleton likes to move around a lot, and I'm not a very good shot. But, ah, creepers. Perfect. Hello over there, kind sir. I bring good tidings of arrows to the knee. Oh, fuck. I'm not used to this version. Oh, he went outside the clipping pane. Can't see him. Well, just wasted three arrows, but... You get the gist of it. You can snipe stuff once you get good at it. I'm not used to the um, the bow mechanics of this version anymore because I'm so used to holding it down and pulling it back. But uh, we're going to make some more arrows right here. So I believe we need more wood. Split that into there. Put that there. Put that there. And I might have to visit a gravel beach later on just to get more flint. Oh no, I've got plenty of gravel. So y what you can do is actually use gravel pillars up to the sky to see where you are and to try and pinpoint an area, which would be nice. And also, if you hold F3, you can't press F3. You have to hold it in this version. Uh, let's see, one chunk update. Uh, where's the important stuff? Well, as you can see, there's no coordinates, so we don't know where we are. It is very, very easy to get lost in this version. Ridiculously easy. So, the only way to do it is the real way. And, wow, I didn't even realize that the cloud was right there. Um, that's one of the main setbacks in this version. The clouds that are so ridiculously obnoxious. And there are creepers right there and I didn't even see them. So this is the 128 block limit. Um, we can't see much because it's night time, but I'll definitely up the brightness in editing. And it looks like there's light coming from that cave over there. I want to explore that. I, I want to bet there's lava there. Um, but you know what? We've got 21 iron, so I'm going to smelt that into uh, iron ingots. We don't have enough for an armor set, because an armor set requires... Before I go down there, I'm going to take out that creeper with my new arrows. Got him. Two, three, four. Get off my mountain, you son of a bitch. That guy's right there, just chilling out. Uh, but yeah, we don't have enough for an iron, an iron armor set, because iron armor requires um, 24 to make the entire set. But we've already got pants, so it's no big deal. We've got man pants. Man pants of the Zisto. But yes, it's. I, I definitely want to check it out over there, because that looks brighter. That's the one thing I like about this version as well, is because it is so dark at night. When you finally get your base set up and everything... And, you know, you have lava pillars out the front, or a lava moat, or something like that. You can spot it from a mile away. It's not even funny, man. It's not even funny. And, uh, yeah, the advantage of gravi gravage pillars... Wow. The advantage of gravel pillars is that on your way back down, you can get flint. So, you know, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So, I think... Yeah, we're going to plonk our furnace down. And I don't remember if furnaces give light in this version. I think they do. Uh, yes, but not that much. Right. Cool to know. There's a lot of mobs down there. But the important thing is we got a bow. So, I am that ecstatic just to be in this area. You know, I don't even feel the need to build a house tonight because I actually feel safe up here despite the fact there's a zombie and a skeleton right there. It just... Oh, it's so fun to just relive an old game. If there's an old game on miniclip.com or armor games or something like that that you played when you were younger, for the love of God, go back, see if that game is still there, and just play it. It doesn't matter what the game is, it doesn't matter if people hate that game, it doesn't matter if you, had, you hate that game, just, if there is a video game, like, it, it doesn't even have to be on the PC. If it's Spyro or Crash Bandicoot, anything like that, just 
play that game and you will have the most fun you've had in a long time. Especially when you think, holy shit, this is awesome. Because you just get lost in it so much. You just get so much more immersed when you're older and you play a game that you remember as opposed to being new at games and you're just like, oh, do do do, what's this green crate over here? I think I might spin it. And then it just blows up in your face. Um, iron pickaxe, first thing you're going to make ever when you get iron. Why? Because that's the only way to get diamond and gold. Gold is extremely useless in this version, unless you want to make, like, you know, grills or something. For your, uh, for your teeth. But, yeah, other than that, it's completely useless. And, uh, that zombie's tracking me, but he's not very smart. And, also, I know that 1.2 was, I think, released last night when I was asleep. And, uh... Of course, by the time this video goes up, 1.2 will probably be out for a few days. Um, but, you know, new zombie AI, new skeleton AI, new mob AI in general, new mobs, new biome, the jungle and everything like that. That's all well and good, but I'm just having fun in this version for now. And the good thing is, when I return to Season 2 to continue with my Minecraft 1.2 Let's Play, I guess, or even 1.3 by then, not sure. Um... You know, hopefully I'll have forgotten about it, about the update entirely, and then I'll be like, Come here, zombie, zombie, look how stupid you are, and then, you know, he'll just destroy me because he's all smart and stuff. Now, i got a bit of a predicament here. However, we have high ground. Get back. Get back. So, as you can see, creepers don't blow up as easily in this version, but they are a lot harder to deal with. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, uh. We don't want that guy coming for us. No, we do not. Look, they keep their heads down. Look how fucking creepy that is, man. They should have kept it like that. That just unnerves me so much. When a mob is coming for me and they've just, they've just got their head down, they're like... Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, it's... It, from this version of Minecraft... Yeah, it's a skeleton. Oh, I hope you like daytime, guys. Because guess what? I've got a friend coming over tonight. And he's bringing drinks. His name... Is the sun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I really fucking hate clouds, man. I used to play on fast graphics as well all the time, due to my computer. And uh, the iron finished smelting perfectly. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to make a chest plate, though, just for some added protection. Um, but yeah, it's just awesome. So we've got seven armor now. That's pretty sick. So we can recollect our stuff. And we can go and adventure and find a suitable place to live, because I think by day three, that's nice. And um, I know this video is going to be about an hour long, so I'm trying to use the day and the night to uh, gauge that. So this is the third day, so I'd say that this video is around 40 minutes in. I could be wrong on that due to editing and everything like that. Um, but yeah, oh god, I'm being chased by skeletons. Leave me alone. Leave me. Oh, oh. Go away. Got him. Awesome. I love this bow so much. Yep, just uh, just die. Give me your feathers. There's no rotten flesh, there's no food bar that you have to worry about. Look at the okay, look at this. This is the perfect example of why creepers were so goddamn deadly in older versions. Look at his head! Look at his head! It's fucking exorcist shit. Look at that. That's, that's spooky as man. But look, they keep yeah, they just blend in so well with leaves and Ah, oh, leave me alone! Friggin' buggy combat system, man. It's awesome, but it's so freaky. Get back. Get back! Uh, don't blow up! It's all good. We're good. We've got this under control. We are definitely expert professionals at what we do. I'm gonna leave this mountain lit up with these torches, because I can always make more. Um, and I'm gonna go adventuring. Yeah, look at that! They blend in so bloody well. Because, yeah, everything is so bright and green. But when the biomes came along, hello, Mr. Heidi Zombie, what are you doing in there? You wanna give me a hug? Oh, oh yeah, he wanted to hug me, alright. A little too aggressive. Look, so, some of the mob AI in this version of the game is just funny. Jump with me, zombie. Jump with me. Yeah. Jump with me. Jump whip G. Jump, 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 jump. Wow, jump whip G. Nice talking abilities there, Adam. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to adventure into this area. Let's see if I can find anything worthwhile. I think my, I might take a peek in that cave because um, 
Oh, that zombie got fucked over by daylight. I don't know where, that he where the hell that creeper's going. He's going to go punch some trees, I think. He uh, just started up his world. I'm going to check over at this cave in this direction and see if the lava is near the entrance. Because if it is, then I'll make a bucket and take it with me because I've got a really good temporary house design that's really, really helpful for mob repelling. And uh, it's basically a little platform in the sky. Oh, lava. Sweet. With a creeper. Um, it's where you... Why is it so bright over here? Uh, yeah, it's where you build a little platform in the sky and then you put lava below you and all the mobs just run underneath you and get owned. Yeah, okay, there was definitely lava over here. So is there anything worth actually exploring today or is it just... There's a cave there. That could be the answer to our diamonds. Um, I think I want to explore a little bit more before I actually fixate on a certain area. So I'm going to make a bucket. Whoops, that's the most retarded bucket I've ever seen. Now, just like a Vex map, when you have a bucket of lava, you're pretty much indestructible. But of course, the main setback with that is you have to be a lava expert in order to not get yourself absolutely destroyed. And also, just then, when I saw the image of the lava bucket in my hand, um, there's actually a glitch. Let me show you. In this version of Minecraft, I forgot this one time when I was playing this version and it pissed me off to no end because I died and lost everything. When you access a workbench, a furnace, a chest or anything of that nature, you have to right click it. And if you're holding a bucket of lava, look, I would have been fucked over. So you basically access it and you freeze so you can't move, but you also place the lava right next to it. So if you are playing an older version of Minecraft or something like that and you go to access a chest and you have like diamonds and shit on you, don't hold a bucket of lava. Oh my god. I cannot stress that enough. There are some pretty sweet caves around here, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty awesome. But uh, once I find a suitable place to set up base and everything, and uh, hopefully I'll get some input from you guys. I'm not... I hate asking because it's just such a fucking Shane Dawson thing to do. I just loathe anyone that is just... But you know, whatever. Just if you could let me know what type of design you would like. It, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but you know, it, it'd be nice to have some sort of input. So I think there's planes from this side to that side. That's kind of cool. Overhangs were very, very nice in this version because they were uncommon, but at the same time, it was like something you've never seen before. So I don't think there's anything out that way. There could be an overhang on the other side, but uh, this is an overhang, but it's not an like, awesome overhang. It's just a tiny little Loch Ness monster cliff. So it's nothing too spectacular. We've got planes, radio. Looks like that mountain's like cut in half. Half peak. No, it's not called Half Peak, is it? I'm thinking of Ice Age, where it's like, meet us there. But where was it? Ah, oh, that's right, it was Half Peak, because they're American. It's Half Peak, not Half Peak. Look at me being all offensive and stuff. Half Peak. I got nothing against Americans. One of my best friends is an American. I killed it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding! Don't get angry. But, uh, no, I... It's weird, y you make friends from all these different countries in the world. And, uh, like, you always hear all these stereotypical things about them, and then you actually make friends with them, and it's so untrue, it's ridiculous. Um, like, for example, how Australians ride kangaroos. Well, yeah, we, we do, but that's, like, beside the point. You know, it's, it's only, it's not, uh, like a traveling method, it's only a luxury. It's how we get to and from school, and it's kind of like a school, a school bus, but it's not like a... A school bus for everyone. Like, not everyone can fit on a fucking kangaroo, if you know what I mean. But, um... Yeah, I'm still kind of just adventuring around, seeing what I like here. But, uh, yeah, so, we ride on kangaroos. Now, someone actually said that we fuck kangaroos. Like, we actually engage in sexual intercourse with said kangaroos. Um, I don't know where they got that information, but to me, that's highly offensive. Like, why would you go ahead and say that? We don't, we don't quote-unquote, fuck kangaroos. You know, we just touch them inappropriately. It's entirely fucking different. But, uh, anyways. we got a nice little cave over here that I might try and explore. If it's not too bad. How much coal do I have left? Nearly a full stack, yeah. 
So once this game picks up, it picks up. Uh, nothing too good. It's just a little cubby hole. Is there a cave here? Is this just... I gotta be careful of mobs. Mobs are very, very crafty in this in this version. I swear I've said that before in an older episode, because I remember saying, I guess you could say they're Minecrafty. <laughs> but I remember saying that in one of my older episodes. I don't remember what it was, though. I said something like, Ah, these spiders are crafty. Something like that. And I should eat a pork chop. And I should get that lava off my friggin' hotbar, man. That would have been ridiculous if I died. Oh, but yeah, a nice leisurely stroll. I don't want to go too far away from the mountain area. Like, for example, here it looks like the terrain has changed to be a bit flatter. Which is... It's, it's good. When I first got Minecraft, I wanted a flat area to build, like, a castle and stuff. But after a while, and you sort of realise what looks good and what doesn't, you kind of want to go for a mountainous area. Wow, look at that. That's kind of weird. It's like a sideways teardrop. Awesome. I don't know why that's the first thing I thought of, but... Yeah. There you go. And it's a really nice day to play Minecraft as well, because it's... Um, I wouldn't say it's raining outside, but it's overcast and it's sort of sprinkling a little bit, so... It's nice and chilly. It's all cool. I will admit it's a little humid in my room, though, so I might have to open the window soon. You watch. What always happens when I open my window, especially when I'm recording, it's um, it's all nice and quiet and everything, and there's no disturbances, and, you know, I can talk, and everything will be fine and dandy. And then suddenly, out of fucking nowhere, there'll be, like, an air horn. Just... And I have no idea where it comes from. But, um... This is the cave we went through before, wasn't it? Yeah. So I think I'm going to adventure into that area. It's just over there. I'm just kind of going all over the place right now. Um, but I know that I've only got about 22 minutes left of this video, maybe. I'm going based on the sun, so I could be way off. Um, I'd say maybe 20... Ooh, yeah, 22. But, um, yeah, I want to venture off into this area and find... Try and find a decent area to set up a house before I end this video. And I know a lot of people probably won't like the idea of hour-long Minecraft videos, simply for the fact that, um, you know, I have a short attention span as well, so don't worry if, you know, you think you're offending me if you don't watch it or anything like that. I honestly completely understand. Um, but that's really the only way I can do it now, because uni takes up so much time, it's ridiculous. Like, there's just not enough time in a day for me to complete... Um, even on the half days, just complete uni for the day, come home, um, then record and edit uh, half an hour worth of footage. You know, usually that, that takes two to three hours of recording and editing. Um, and it's just taken the absolute shit out of me, man. I'm so tired from uni, it's ridiculous. And um, I fell asleep at like 8.40 last night. Oh, no, the night before. And when I woke up, I was still tired, so... My sleeping pattern is so out of whack, but that's okay. I slept in till like 7 p.m. today, so it's all good. That that was a joke. I don't I don't actually know what time it is now. I think I might check. Give me a sec. Oh, that hurt my neck. All right, it's 2:05 in the afternoon, so it's a little bit hot, but uh, yeah, all right, we got sunrise, so I might want to get to a high point before I end this because I don't want to die in the first episode. That would suck. Ridiculous amount of nuts. What's this? This is nice. We could go caving, I guess. No, no, I want to stay outside. Definitely want to stay outside for tonight. I swear I heard a zombie. Scared the hell out of me. Let's put a torch here, just because it's a flat wall. Why the fuck not? So this place is cool, but it's not as cool as the places I've seen. I mean, once you find, once you find, um, the place to live, then you know it's the place to live. That's kind of redundant, but you know, it's true. It's definitely true. I keep swear I see Endermen everywhere. It's just ridiculous. Once again, placebo effect. They're not really there, but I'm telling myself they're there, so they must be there. But yeah, this is old Minecraft. What do you guys think of this? Actually, no, that's a bad question, because I want you guys to tell me what, what type of design for a house you should, uh, you should input.
There's the mountain that I lit up. There's the wall over there. But uh, oh, you'll notice that the landscape is generating a little slowly when it turns nighttime. That's only because I'm recording at 30 frame rate. Um, if I was recording quicker, or if I wasn't recording at all, it would absolutely fly. It would be so quick. It's ridiculous. Doesn't look to be anything out this way. That's the way I came from, wasn't it? My spawn is way out there. Um, I should have left breadcrumbs, like torches, as I moved, in case I die. But um, there is no room for error in this series. There is no room for death. There is no room for respawning. There is no room for anything. And if I do die, then I'll probably end up making like a minecart system. Actually, no. I will not die. Dying is not an option. Where's the edge of this mountain? Oh, holy shit. Well, that was about to be cut short, wasn't it? Let's just... Uh Oh, I know where I am. I'm near that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Alright. This is awesome. I know I've said that like 50 fucking times by now, but honestly, stressing that is not possible. Stressing that is not possible. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying, man. I'm just like, yep. Minecraft. The one thing I don't like about fancy graphics, though, and increasing the gamma in editing for nighttime, is that you guys will be able to see especially against the backdrop of the sky, you'll be able to see the vignette. In uh, fancy mode, it's got a vignette, so if I have a torch, uh, you'll notice the corners of the screen are very dark. Well, you, you can barely tell, but uh, when you exit a cave into daylight, um, or if you are clipped in a wall or something like that, um, yeah, the, vi the vignette is nice, but it just looks weird when it's you know, increased in brightness. It, it just looks weird. You guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Well, no great loss. No great loss, indeed. So there's still yellow and red flowers and everything like that. And uh, I think if there's one more thing I have to teach you guys about this version is uh, something very interesting that I came across quite a long time ago, probably about halfway through last year. And... Um, I don't think you can place torches on leaves. No, you can't. Um, but yeah, I want to show you guys something. This is... It doesn't seem like much, but it can be very helpful in uh, defense systems for a house and everything like that. So let us build a component of a house that every house needs. A door. We'll place this door right here in the light so we can see what we're doing. Opens and closes the exact same as it always has, right and left clicking. Um, now, as many of you probably already know, in earlier versions, you could actually punch through, if you get close enough to the door, you can hit past it and through it, but you'd actually have to back up to open it. So you can't, I don't think, it, it, eh. yeah, I can hit through it. So if there's a mob on the other side, I can hit through it. That's not what I wanted to show you. This is something that was always a problem for me. Now you might have noticed this in the texture pack, how I changed the uh, sort of the, the looking glass thing. I didn't really change it to be better, but um, in this version of Minecraft, I discovered this a little while ago, but holding shift is lower than in the current versions. I can actually see through the bottom two, so if there's walls on each side, just hypothetically, hopefully a creeper doesn't come along and blow up my shit, so we've got a basic door frame for a dirt house. And we want to look outside, but we can't because there's a fucking beam in the way. We drop. We hold shift and we can look out. And I still remember of, uh, you know, getting Minecraft and everything like that. And uh, that second house that I was talking about, how it was practical and everything, the second option, um, in that world was actually where I was doing that maneuver where I would look out. And then that was where I discovered the sneak feature. And, um, yeah, I was actually trying to see if sneaking was actually sneaking. Because it's called sneaking. It's not called crouching. Or it's not called anything else. At least I don't think so. Yeah, sneak. So what I thought it meant was it makes your footsteps quieter. Which it does. It doesn't play them at all. So, back when I was inexperienced at Minecraft, in this version, I thought that maybe sneaking would prevent mobs from seeing you from a distance or tracking you through walls so when I built my little dirt house I was kind of like sneaking around from workbench to chest and stuff and I'm like 
Hopefully they don't see me. And you know what? I actually enjoyed it. So that's that's the main thing. To have a sense of imagination. That if the mobs hear you, they will come for you. And it's just... One of the main components of Minecraft that made this so goddamn interesting is just imagination. What you can do with it. I mean, now it's all about building the most impressive thing you can think of. Right? So many people are into that. I just build because it's fun to do. But, uh, look. A very old version of a glowing tree. I think I'm going to leave that up there. But, uh, we're going to head back down. Back onto that mountain over there. I think I might build something on this main centerpiece. I'm not sure. I could build something in the valleys. Maybe a minecart station. Uh, redstone does exist. But it's... It's it's not that fantastic. There's no repeaters. Um, there's no real way of timing things. Um, I don't think it's buggy. I think it's fairly ironed out at this point. It's just not very extensive. So um, i got to be really careful as well. I don't want this creeper to blow up and kill me. Um, but I mean, with a full iron armor set, you're pretty much invulnerable to creeper attacks. But I mean, in caves and stuff, you still just absolutely lose your intestines when a creeper comes up behind you. It's just one of the scariest things you will ever face, ever. I mean, I've, I've watched Amnesia playthroughs, and um, I've laughed at people getting scared. I've never actually played Amnesia, but I understand how it feels, because in Minecraft, it just... They're walking death. They are walking death. They just walk around, and they're like, DEATH! And then you die. And it's just like, whoa, I died. And, uh... <coughs> Ow, I think I just cracked my neck to the point where I broke it when I just burped. Holy shit. Infinite pain. Ow. Ow. I think I've... I think I've broken my neck, guys. I think that burp just broke my neck. Um... So there you go. Ow. We went to a series of places and... Oh my god, that is painful. Well, the sun is rising, and uh, I believe this is the part where we need to cut it in order to make it an hour long. So, I'll wait for you guys until the next episode to uh, record or do anything. So this is where we are, just to give you a nice look around. We've got a series of mountains, we've got overhangs, we've got caves, we've got hills, we've got trees. We have everything we need. We've got a floating island over there, a little small one with a tree on top. And we've got a sun that I am very, very happy to see. Okay, I think my neck is better now. And we've got an Enderman. So, we're all good. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. But, uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. And, uh, my name is Maddox Bolson, all that kind of bullshit. That outro that people do. I'm not a fan of it. So I'll see you guys later.